Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring you guys the tutorial that you requested on how I made my Bills Binder envelopes. Um, and these are just a few of them. The options are endless depending on where your cre creativity can take you. Um, I am gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how I created these on the computer. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, let's see. Let me take one out so I can kind of show you guys what they look like. So this is one for AT&T and one for Georgia Power. All right, so they're clear on the back like this with just plain laminate, but they do have cardstock on the front so you can't see through them. They are pretty thick. Um, in total when you think about the envelope so they're really sturdy and yeah they're just made out of laminate and some cardstock and i'm going to show you exactly how i created them you will need a computer to do this first part let's get into it to get started you want to go to canva.com that is the program that we'll be using in order to customize and we'll start by clicking this link up here that says start a design they do have several design options available but if you go to the bottom it says create a custom size and from there you can enter eight and a half by 11 because we are going to be working with a full sheet of paper all right, so once you do that, you'll start create your new design and a sheet of paper will come up that will have a ruler across the top of the page as well as a ruler along the side. But for right now, let's focus all the way on the left-hand side and move over to the word elements. What we find here is any customization that you wanna have for your envelopes. And I'll show you later how we get to the rainbows. You can see that I had them recently used already there because I used them for my previous envelopes. But for right now, we're gonna type the word rectangle. And I already had it here, but you can type it. And that will bring up some rectangles. We wanna then place a rectangle onto the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And we're gonna drag those little markers to make it the exact size of our envelope. And this is where I got confused between when I made it versus when I actually cut them later, you'll see. But for right now, <laughs> I am making them six and a half by three inches long. And I'm gonna take that dark gray box rectangle and move it all the way up to the top of the page. Now Canva does have some really great tools, which is one of them is that purple line that just showed up and that lets you know that your box is centered. Well, I'm gonna control C and then control V to replace on an Apple computer the same box three times and center them all the way down. The next step is just so that we will have the outline of the envelope. However, we use this tool up here called transparency and take the transparency down so that it'll be light enough for us to see through what it is we're creating. To differentiate the first rectangle from the second, I'm gonna leave the second rectangle a little bit darker so I'll be able to verify where the second one begins and the first one ends and then I'll take the third one lighter. So you can see a variation between the three rectangles. This is where the rulers come into play because once you have them set up, you can see that you'll need to trim about an inch off to start the envelope, if I would have had my measurements right, an inch off on both sides, and then also about a half an inch at the bottom in order to have the envelopes line up correctly with the design that you're creating today on Canva. Here I am just checking the sizes of the envelope squares um, and just making sure that they're lining up with the ruler size that I wanted. If not, I'm just using that dash at the bottom or the dots on the corners in order to drag it in or drag it up in order to make it the perfect size. Um, and I'm just gonna be working on making sure the sizing is exact. And even though I went through all this work <laughs> to make sure the sizing was exact, when I printed them, I forgot that I made them three and a half inches wide and I instead cut them three and a quarter. So some of my design was removed, but you'll see that a little bit later. Once you have your mock envelope sized, this is where the fun begins. So we're already on the elements tab here on the left. And so we'll just take out the word rectangle and instead type whatever type of image you would like, whether that be flowers, you can see they have a can of Coke, but for right now, I'm gonna use the word rainbows. 
several rainbows come up and there are some that have a small crown over in the lower left hand corner and that designates that this is a pro graphic and so you would have to be a member of canvas pro program in order to use those for this example i decided to try to use all free products in order to create this design for you guys so i'm using that purple line just to center it amongst the envelope and once i have it centered i kind of use the corners to drag it up and make it even bigger but keeping it no bigger than the space within the top rectangle. I then search for more um, rainbows and also use that same centering feature and try to keep them within the size of the second envelope. One thing about Canva, it really allows you to customize the envelopes the way that you would like. So the options are truly endless. Um, even when you're searching for a rainbow of a particular color, if you don't see the color you like, but you like the design, then go ahead and drop that rainbow in. I'm going to be using this one for the third. It's quite large and I used this one previously in one of my own bills envelope. But when I try to drag it down by the little dash at the top, it cuts off the top of the rainbow. So instead I'm going to be dragging it in by one of the corners in order to literally shrink it and make it the size of the lowest rectangle. Okay. But again, if you see a rainbow that you enjoy, but it doesn't have the colors that you would like, just know that you can customize them. This program is made for customization. You do that by clicking on the rainbow and see how all the colors of that particular rainbow came across the top. You can then customize it to whatever colors you would like and change it so that it looks more pleasing to your eye based on the color palettes that you enjoy. I tried to keep all of mine pretty neutral in my bills binder. And for this example, I'm gonna be using pretty much pastel colors as well. Um, and I was just kind of rushing through this. Don't think that this is the best, but <laughs> it kind of works for showing you the example of how you can change and customize anything within Canva to the way that you would like it to be. And now I'm just checking to make sure that the rainbows that I added on are actually within the rectangle space and I see that they are. So we're going back over to the far left and we're gonna click on text. And these are the different size fonts that you can add, but once you add them, you always can customize them as well. I'm gonna click the largest font possible. And because I know that I need this to be changed to the words of my choice, I just highlight it and type in what I want. And then I go to the top and change the font style. Now this particular font is one that I downloaded from something called Creative Fabrica. Um, and you can see the name of it there. I think it's called Blessed. I can't really see it right now, but yeah, <laughs> you basically just change the font and then highlight it as big as you'd like. Use the purple lines to center your um, text within the middle of that particular envelope and then I just hit control C control V to copy and paste and make an exact duplicate of that and center those words before I move on to change those words to other envelope titles okay so now that I have the words centered then I highlight them and just go ahead and type in something new for the top one I'm going to be typing in rent and then I just make sure that that's centered once I do that and then I'll type in the word laundry at the bottom. If I wanted to change the color of the font, the A at the top with the rainbow under it is how I would do that. But I'm gonna leave these like this. And the last thing that we need to do is get rid of those gray backgrounds by going back to transparency and taking it all the way down to zero. So that will actually get rid of those gray boxes behind our envelopes and leave us with just a white sheet of paper. Here I am going back trying to change some of the colors of that rainbow because I don't like the way it looks once I took the gray out from underneath it. But, <laughs> but basically, once you get it the way that you want it to be, then you just highlight the gray box and go up to transparency and take it all the way down to zero so you can get rid of those gray boxes that were just guides so we know the space we were working in for each individual cash envelope. Once you get done with that and you like the way everything looks, then you're going to go to download in the upper right corner and you will click that and download your file as a PDF. Okay. And you want it to be PDF print and it will download to your computer. And from there you could print, cut and make your envelopes, which I will be bringing that to you next. But for right now, let me show you another way that you actually can print this document if you don't have a printer or don't wanna use your color toner at home. Oh wait, before I do that, let me show you one other thing. Over here on the right-hand side, you can change the font 
to some of these pre-formatted fonts, like this one saying feeling cute, you would be able to highlight that font if you like that one better and just change it to the words of the cash envelope that you would like. Okay, so that's another way that you can customize your envelopes. If you guys are interested in the Canva Pro version, there is a link down in my description box where you can sign up for that. There are several benefits to the Pro. It's very affordable. I use it and I do enjoy it for personal things as well as things in regards to my YouTube channel and my Etsy store. So yeah, let me show you how you can actually print this document. All right, guys, if you don't want to print on your own colored printer at home or don't want to use the toner, you always can go to staples.com, go to same day printing and go to professional print. When you're on this page, you'll click that you want to start a new document and then it will ask you um, to upload your file. And so you will upload the Canva PDF file that you already have created. And once you do that, it will bring a picture of it here on the screen. Once you do that, you'll select what size you have, which we do have eight and a half by 11, and we want it in portrait orientation. And then you scroll down until you find what type of paper you want. I find it's very affordable at Staples to get the 12 point card stock. So I just click that and then hit continue. And once I do that, it asks if I want color ink. Of course I do. We didn't create all those rainbows for nothing. And then it asks if I want any finishing, like lamination, things like that. But because we're going to be making cash envelopes at home, and I'm not sure that it'll be laminated correctly, we just continue, okay? After you do that, it will ask um, how many copies you want of the document, and you go ahead and continue. You can either register or continue as a guest, which is what I did. And from there, it's going to begin to process your order. Now, a couple of things will happen. It's going to ask you for your address of where you live so that it can bring up the closest staples for you to actually pick up your order from. The cost of this document, one page to be printed was about $1.50 and I can add on a rapid service to have it ready in two hours for another maybe 25 to 30 cents. Check the pricing on the website yourself, but it can be very affordable, especially if you don't wanna use your own printer, okay? I think I paid about $1.50 and I had it ready in two hours. All right, now that we got done with all the printing and I went and picked it up, this is exactly what it looks like. It is on cardstock, matte finish, and this is uh, rent, clothes, and laundry, and these are the three envelopes. We will need now a paper cutter, a laminate machine, some laminate, and scissors with a hole punch. So let me gather all those materials. All right, so I have all the items on the table. All of these items can be found on Amazon. I think they're all linked in my storefront down below. The paper cutter is here. The hole punch, which has different settings based on what size envelopes you want to create. You can change the hole settings. The scotch laminator I got on Amazon, as well as the laminate sheets. These are three mil and they work fine. And then I got a scotch pair of scissors. Okay, so those are all the all the pieces that you'll need. We're gonna start off by first using the paper cutter. This is eight and a half with paper, so I'm gonna take it down until I get to um, seven and three quarters on this side and cut off that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this time instead of I'm gonna go to six and three quarters to make it even on both sides, the amount of trim. So it'll look something like this. Next, I'm gonna insert it in here. They're three and a half inches wide, so I'm gonna cut that first. Actually, let me take a little bit off of the top. All right. Now that I took this thin piece off the top of the page, let me make them three and a half inches wide or three and a quarter. Three and a quarter inches wide. That's the first one.
there's clothes, rent, laundry, and the scraps I'm just gonna move to the side. Next, I'm gonna cut one of the tops of these sheets. It's connected by this little piece at the top, and I'm gonna cut off just the tip so I can get two separate sheets. So I only took off about maybe a quarter inch. And now we have two full laminate sheets. I'm gonna separate them like this, okay? So just as when making other envelopes, there is a shiny side that's on the outside of the laminate, and then there's a matte side on the inside. I'm gonna open up the connected sheet first. Take one of my sheets that I cut open, and so it's just a single part of a two-piece laminate page. Okay, this is the two pieces. One we don't need, this one we will. And I'm going to lay that with the shiny side facing up inside this. That's gonna be the backs of the envelopes. This shiny side against the cardstock is gonna make the pocket, okay? So I'm just gonna line that up like this. And now we have a shiny side here and a matte side on the other side of there. When you place these, most important, you wanna make sure that you have a border so you can punch a hole. You know, you need a trim at the end of the envelope so you can hole punch it. So I'm gonna place it here with the words facing that way because the trim will be here. This one I'm gonna place here. It doesn't matter how close these two are because we're gonna cut open the envelope, right? So maybe about like that. And the last one we'll put down here and we wanna make sure there's at least three fourths quarter inch space there. So I'm gonna push these up just a tiny bit and push that one up. We're gonna be cutting right across here, so. Um, you want some space in there because that's going to be the edge of this folder, okay? So let's just put it like about right there. That looks to be enough space. And we close that up. And then we'll feed this through the laminator. Let me turn it on. It is important to set it to 5 ml because the cardstock is pretty thick. And then you want to just wait until the light says ready and then you're ready to laminate. I'm gonna set that to the side. This is where you'll need your scissors. So I'm gonna first just cut here, leaving some trim on the edge of this one. So mainly cutting close to the top of the laundry envelope. And then I'm gonna cut down the middle of these two. And these are the beginnings of the envelopes. All right, so for these two, they don't have that much border. I'm gonna leave that on. We'll just need to trim here and hole punch. The same thing goes with this one. I might cut some of the border off here. So let me trim that really quick. You can use the paper cutter as well. Something like that. So that's those two. This one has quite a bit of border on the edge, so we're gonna need to cut some of that off. So I'm just gonna cut up the sides on that one. Leaving some room because if you cut it too close and it will open, you know what I mean? It will separate. So that's it as far as that's concerned. Now what we wanna do is trim them all up. All right, first things first, I like to put them in and line it up the back of this line with three and a quarter inches, um, sometimes a little less, but about three and a quarter. And I cut off this little tiny trim. Where'd it go? This. Okay. And that should open up a pocket for the envelope. So that's where your money will be going. Okay. Now we're going to turn it the opposite way. And we're gonna go to the four inch because that will add three quarters inch trim on the edge for the hole punching. And it looks like this. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has that little quarter, three quarters inch edge. Okay, so that one's done. So do the same thing for this one. Babe, it's not enough. Can we be real for a minute? You and me. 
goes our envelopes. And that's all there is to it. The last step is just to hole punch them so they will fit in your binder. Like that, and then we'll put them in the binder. These probably won't be a part of my regular bills binder um, because I don't have any of these categories. Well, just wanna show you how they would fit. Just like that. So there they are, laundry, rent, and clothes. All right, you guys. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoy learning how to make unique cash envelopes of your own that you will enjoy. Remember, if you're interested in Canva Pro, you can find my link down below. It is um, an affiliate link. So even though this isn't a sponsored content, I do get a small commission every time you use that link to enroll. So if you think you're gonna be using Canva Pro, go ahead and use the link down below, okay? Everything else that I use in this video can be found down below in my Amazon storefront in the description as well. Check down there because I do have a free penny savings challenge as well as some free um, trackers for your envelopes. List it down as a free PDF in the description bar. So look down in the description bar and see if there's anything that you need. And yeah, I think that's everything. If you guys made it to the end of this video, put this one single emoji right here. And that way I know you're a real one and you're here to learn how to make your own personalized cash envelopes that are specific to you and your taste. I appreciate you guys for being here. Check out some of the other content I have like this DIY right here on how to make frosted envelopes or this DIY right here, showing you how to make basic clear cash envelopes. All right, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Take care.